<clears throat> hey, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and today I'm going to show you my kindergartners homeschool lessons and activities for day 12. So, first thing I always do is I have my homeschool binder here. This has all of my lessons written in it. I have a, a rough sketch of what we're going to do. And then I also have here my binder, or my book from A. Becca, the K-5 phonics and reading book, and it also has lessons in it. And I basically go off these and then I kind of make my own things. So going off this, I highlighted what I want to do. I always go by what I think my son needs to do and what he already knows. Some things we skip, some things we do. And then some things I change up. So first thing I have here is for phonics. He already does Bible with us with the separate things. So this is just for him, just kindergarten. Um, it says, do letter picture flashcards for all the vowels. Yes. Now, I showed you my other video, what we've been doing actually to practice our vowels is in his learning notebook. I'll pull it out. This is his learning notebook. Um, in the front, I've been keeping some of the charts, the ABACA charts. And so what we've been doing to practice our vowels, and I have some other stuff in here, but anyway, is the vowel chart. And I showed you in the last video how we sing the vowel song. So, okay, just a minute, we will. Um, so we'll do that. And then I... Uh, if you look in here, if you flip around, I have highlighted here to play Peter Rabbit's uh, game with cards. So, I pulled out the Peter Rabbit game. This comes with the A. Becca games. And what we're going to do is I'm going to do blend cards with him today. So I'm going to put the blend card up there and I'm going to tell him, D-A-D-A, -da, and then he's going to do it. Yeah, yeah, if he does it correctly, he gets a piece and he gets to start making the picture. And then he'll get another piece if he does the next one correctly. And he's going to have to do them on his own, so I won't always say it for him. So he'll have to go, f, ah, fa. Okay, put your piece on. And he'll get another piece to put on his picture. So we'll continue like that. Okay, that was basically all they had in here for phonics. So I thought, well, I'm going to add a little bit more to that. So after we do that, we're going to do these making word short vowel cards that I made. Now, so far I've only made the short A cards, but I'm going to be making all of the short vowels soon. So anyway, I have the short A ones here and I pull them out and they come differently. So they come where you can do the whole word, you can do a missing, um, missing beginning sound, missing ending sound, um, and then missing the entire word. So what I'm going to have him do is with these, I'm going to have him use his magnet letters. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out really easy with the whole word. So we're going to sound it out. <gasps> Am. Ham. And he's going to use his um, letters over here and he's going to make ham by looking at it. So he's going to do huh. ham. And I suggest using this with a cookie sheet. But you can also clip it up on your whiteboard. This is um, one of our whiteboards. And let me just pull this down and I can show you what you can do. You can take the card, if you have one of these magnet clips, and sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. Sorry. Okay, you can clip it up there, and then they can take them, and they can do it on the whiteboard if you want. If you don't want to do it on a cookie sheet, you can do it like so. All right. Then, after we do the whole word, then we're going to do the missing letter. So, we're gonna say, I'm going to say to him... This is dad, dad, and he's going to have to find the D. No, is this it? What, which one is the D? It's... Well, you, now you moved it. Which one is it? This P. P, it's... yep, but if you turn it this way, then it's a D. And so then we'll put the D on there. What does that say, Mark? Yeah. Whoops, you knocked it. What does it say? Yeah. It says dad, right. Okay, so anyway, we will go through these cards, and we will do that like so. Now, another thing I thought we might do with these cards is I pulled out my son's salt box, 
I have a couple of these salt boxes. Let me close this, Mark, so it doesn't spill. I'm gonna put it down here. Uh, I have a couple of these salt mm, boxes. Plato. And basically that's all it is. It's just a box with salt in it. It's, and I figure, we use this for handwriting, but I thought it might be fun to put the card up here and then have him make the missing letter. So what is missing in dad? D, D, D. So he's gonna take his pencil and he's gonna make a D in his salt box for dad. And then we'll do another one. So um, I recommend getting a pencil that's not, or having a pencil that's not sharpened. And then they can use the eraser side too if they'd rather use the eraser side. Um, but either side will work. And then we can flip it over and we can do bad. So anyway, I thought that might be fun too. So besides the magnet letters, we might do that. All right, so then after that, we always do some reading. So we're going to read in his handbook for reading. We're on, I believe we're on this page, F for Fox. So we will read some of that. And then I have some other books in here that if we get to them, we will get to them with reading as well. Some days we do them all. Some days we only do one. Some days we do a couple. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so let me move all this out of the way. Then after all of that, we will move on to the, oh, the handwriting. So next is handwriting, and I have here, and I'm sorry I'm moving all over the place today. I have his um, learning notebook. You've seen this in other videos, if you watched any of my other videos. And I'm gonna go to day 12, and today for handwriting, he's supposed to do this page, which is like the letter A, and then he's redoing E, U, and I as practice. So you've seen these in other videos. These are the large, um, cards for practicing their handwriting and I will have him use his marker and his dry erase marker because I have it in a plastic sleeve and he will trace and we will talk about the formation and we will talk about how it starts upstairs and goes downstairs stops at the pink carpet all that good stuff so we will practice that then he will do his assignment okay so then next I have in here a little phonics page um, this I created. I created a whole packet of kindergarten um, skill sheets. And so he's going to read oh, at, hat, and then he has to color the hat. Now, another thing you can do with these sheets, if you want to save them and you don't want to um, have to print them out over and over again, is you can put them in a plastic sleeve and they can use a marker, or a dry erase marker. Yeah. Or you can do it like this where he would read oh, at hat and then he would take an object like a little toy or something and he would put it over the hat then he'd read the next one M at mat and he'd take the object and put it over the mat and so on okay so that's another way you can do it but today i think i'm just going to have him color all right then the next thing is we move into math now in our book for math it said do the number flashcards so um, his number flashcards I have pulled out. Let me move this a minute. Yeah, let me move this. Yeah, you can go take that to the table. And these are his, the flashcards that come with a Becca. So basically it says just to show him the number and have him say the number. So I'm going to just do the teen numbers. So I'm going to show him the card. He's going to say 12. I'm going to show him the card. He's going to say 11. Then that's all they said to do. But then I thought it might be fun is to turn it over, he's gonna count the objects. And then I thought I would have him use these cards that I made. I made these cards, basically just took their um, toys and I put a number on them. So these are like little labels that I made, I printed out. And so this one says 14. So what he would do is the card that is, so, so I, for example, I'll give him this card and it's cars and, and he's gonna count them and he's gonna find the car that matches which is this one it says 14 and he's gonna drive it over to the card and then we will do another one and he will find the car that matches and drive it over to that card so he will match the number to the card so we will do that and then we will go back to his book and he has to 
to complete the page today. And um, what I thought might be fun is I took out this clock because when he does it, it says, how many cents? One, two. I figured he could find the two, put the two on there, and then circle the two. Count one, two, three, four. Then he's going to find the four, put the four on there, and circle the four cents. So I thought that might be kind of fun. And then we can put like the two over here. There's two fish. That's two o'clock. It just makes it a little bit more interactive. And then he's going to do his paper. He's going to complete it with me. He's going to draw balloons and so on. All right, the other thing I put in here is, um, this is an art page. This is out of the Abeka art book, but I thought it might just be fun for him to do today. Um, I'm getting big, I can, and then he's gonna draw himself. He's got his picture there, and then he's gonna draw himself, and then he's gonna color in what he can do. And then the last thing is we're going to do some science. So I pulled out um, some information on storms out of his book. So we're going to do read about storms. And that will be it. That will be plenty for him. Oh, by the way, I forgot. Um, every day with math, we also count. So we will count on this paper to 100. That will be the very first thing we do in math before I, we do any of the other stuff that I showed you. And I think that's it. I don't know. I could be missing something. But that is about it for now, guys. I hope this video didn't leave you dizzy with all my moving around. <laughs> but thanks for watching. If I mentioned anything in the video, I will leave links below where you can um, get whatever I mentioned. And uh, have a great day.